So how can you add the Apple Watch activity to the My Fitness Pal app? So a lot of people track their calories and everything with the app, and it is possible to actually sync it with your Apple Watch and in general like fitness activity. So if you use the app uh, during the setup process, it is going to ask you about it. So it uh, will give you this page where it shows you that the app would like to access your health data so you can enable it for the steps right here. And then it gives you additional pop-up asking for motion and fitness activity. So this is uh, to the amount of steps you take and how much energy you're burning. So if you want to, you can allow it right here during the setup process. The problem might be that you kind of skipped over it or it's been a while since you set it up, but how can you change it now? Well, in order to do that, just open up the main settings app of your iPhone and entirely at the bottom, we can find the apps section. So this is where individual apps installed on your phone have their own respective settings menu. So you can open up the My Fitness Pal. It is all sorted alphabetically, so you should be able to find it easily. So just click in here and at the top we have the motion and fitness. So you can enable it and disable it with this little toggle right there. And this means that when you do enable it, it will ask you or it will show you the Apple Watch activity data and burn calories inside of the My Fitness Pal app. And also when it comes to the other setting, which I showed you in the beginning, which is like the health data, you can also find it and just change it later. But instead of the main settings app, you need to head over to the health app of your iPhone and just click on your profile picture at the top. From the new menus, click on apps and you should be able to find the fitness poll right here. And again, you can give it access to the steps or whatever else it asks you for, but usually it's just gonna be the amount of steps you take per day. So this is how you can change or give it access, revoke it, however you like it. And this is technically how you can do this. So let me know below in the comments if you managed to successfully set it up within the app, subscribe for more guides and videos like this one, and I will see you later in the future. <laughs>